Hi, Dewey Dragons. Yay, we're on bow hands. Okay, I take a big breath that once you've learned it, you haven't really learned it. You should always be thinking about your bow hand. Always. Okay, even if you think you're an expert at it, you still think about your bow hand. And that goes for everybody. People who are masters and have been playing for years and years and years and years still think about their bow hand. We put a lot of brain power into this. I'm going to take my pencil. I'm going to take this left hand, which is not my bow hand. You know, the right hand's your bow hand. So I take this hand and I'm just going to hold my pencil because I don't want to mess with the long weight of the bow yet. Okay, so here's one way to hold your bow. Notice it's at an angle. So here are steps that we learned in class. We're going to first flop. And I'm just going to flop. Okay, and when I do that, I'm nice and relaxed. I haven't straightened my fingers. It's, oh, it's really nice and loose and relaxed. And when and when I do that, it's my bow is here on my on kind of on my second knuckle. It's not on my first. I'm not trying to hook this. It's not in my hand. I'm not trying to grab it. I'm just really just plopping. Okay. And if you have this nice hand, you'll notice that. Um, Mm, well, you'll just notice that you should do it. <laughs> oh, secrets later. Now, you see this thumb that's hanging out here? I'm going to bend that thumb and hide it behind my second two fingers. So I bend it so that you could see my fingernail. And then I hide it on the, on the tip of my thumb, thumb. The tip of my thumb is touching the stick. Okay? And then I take my pinky and only my pinky. And this is a beautiful bow hand. I have this beautiful bow hand, and now I'm going to let go, and I'm going to flip it upside down. And this is what you should see. Okay, you should see a hole here. You shouldn't see it closed. We should see a big hole. And if you don't have that, think of holding a ball here. Oh, I'll help open up that hand. My pinky is on top. My fingers, now notice this angle. If I'm holding this, notice my knuckles are pointing to my nose. You want your knuckles pointing to your nose. And this is just, this is my sleepy hand. Okay? Now, if I take, I'm holding this and I'm seeing, showing you, this is where my thumb is touching. Okay? It's not really top, top like that. It's kind of right there at the, the corner, kind of where my, um, uh, where I would stop cutting my fingernail. Okay? And while I'm thinking about it, Make sure you cut your fingernails nice and short because you can't sink into strings and you can't have a really nice thumb bow hold um, with that. So here's another way to learn it. So first way was angle, plop, hide, pinky on top. Okay. The second way that I'm going to teach you is I am going to hold it like this. So I'm going to take this, take that bow hand. For some of you, this makes more sense. I'm going to take my bow hand. I'm going to bend my thumb. Not totally, just a little bit. And then I'm going to say, hey, can't hear you. So my thumb is now, now kind of up. I'm going to then place it flat. And then I'm going to go flop, plop, pinky on top. And that gives me a nice bow hold too. All right. So these are your nice bow holds. Once you've gotten really good at your bow hold with your pencil, try this still with your pencil. Try doing pinky wiggles. So my thumb is still, my wrist is still, and my pinkies, we can call these bunny ears, and my ears are wiggling, just like your dog is really happy, or it could be a seesaw, or you can think of something else that it might be like, but it's going back and forth, and it's balancing on that tip of my thumb. And notice when I open it up, and I close it again, my fingers are still flopping over, okay? And I should be able to just take that out, okay? Because I'm not squeezing, oh, I'm gonna do it right. No, no, keep it nice and loose. You can do this, okay? So if you ever feel tight, shake out that hand and make it really nice and floppy, Ugh, no bones. Okay, and then try it again. And if you ever really can't feel like, oh, I'm so frustrated I can't get it, put it down and try it. That's okay too.
All right, good luck with your bow hands. I can't wait to see him in class. We'll see you later. Bye.